What is going on everybody? My name is Rob and today we are off to face the official second Kahuna trial um, of our playthrough. It is the 16th episode of my Pokemon Sun playthrough and you may notice that everything is different in my camera. You may have also noticed that I missed a day. I didn't post a video for a day and that's very out of the ordinary for me. I've been posting pretty consistently for like 60 straight days and I have every intention of posting every single day, but I wanted to do some personal side projects. Uh, well, not personal side projects. I wanted to do some projects for this channel, some additional things, but I decided I need a better camera. So here we are with my brand new camera. Hopefully you guys like my setup. It's got uh, charm, perhaps is the better word. It's not perfect. But it's mine. If you don't remember what happened last time, we were on Route 9, where I had this team. Shwiffy was leading the way because I wanted to get him to evolve to 25 before we get to the Rock Trial, which does not look like it's going to happen. Um, I do probably need to go to... I don't think I've been here before. No. There's no way we've been here before because I there's a guy like right there. Let's see if I can sneak by. That's definitely going to be some dialogue, so let's fight this guy, see if maybe we can get one more level before we go to that official Kahuna trial. I haven't had any cases, so I'm bored. How about a battle? Cool. So I have every intention of doing some kind of standalone videos. Uh, more opinion-based, more, um, more presentation-based, less of a just a, a swift playthrough more of a more of a presentation so i decided that i needed a new camera um let's see if we can z move ko with a hydro vortex so because i i felt the need for a new camera which hopefully hasn't stopped recording because quite frankly uh I don't know how well it works. I'm still getting used to it. I have to learn all about lighting and stuff. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. But hopefully, over the next week or two, I will have my first standalone opinion-based video. It's going to be on Generation 1 and some of the positives that I see from Generation 1. So one of the things that I noticed uh, particularly about Generation 1 on YouTube is that everyone says how crappy it is. And I'm not gonna lie, after playing Pokemon Yellow, there was some there were some complaints. The box system's annoying, a lot of things are annoying, but I personally found that there's a lot of redeeming qualities about Generation 1, which I will be pointing out in a video, like I said, over the next week or two. I gotta finish the script. And then hopefully, if it if it comes if people like it. Sorry, if people like it, then uh, I will keep doing them. And if people don't like it, then I will keep doing them because I don't care. <laughs> I enjoy doing them, uh, so I will probably keep doing them. Although we are on Route 9, and I feel like this is Memorial Hill. We have not been here either, so there's a chance for two encounters here. The dead can sleep in peace here. You're in the shadow of Tapu Lele's sacred ruins. Okay. Oh, I have a repel on. Nope, I don't want to use another repel because I'm trying to catch Pokemon. Hey, Fisher guy. Oh, you're a trainer. I keep repeating fair battles with Pokemon and trainers. What kind of person is a fisherman? Wait, what? I didn't misread that. Doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. You're challenged by Fisherman Mike. What up, Mike? Fisherman Mike sent out a Chinchu. Which is definitely not a good matchup. But it does mean that I can send out Mudbray. Although if it uses... I'm going to send out Noctua. Noctua is neutral against electric and resists grass. Mudbray is weak against water. And, uh, sorry, and resists electricity. God dang. Noctua is weak against electricity and resists water because it is grass. Mudbray would be weak to this water move. Which is why I did not want to send him in. And a Razor Leaf should probably do it because that'll be... It'll be two times super effective and Chinchu's base stats are atrocious. It's too bad because I actually love the water-electric combination. 
Although if I could hit a Razor Leaf, it'd be nice. I like the Water Electric combination. I like the concept of Chinchu. I think Lantern could have been a cooler Pokemon, but Chinchu certainly is adorable and a very good inclusion in the Pokemon world. But his base defense is like 30 or 40. It's friggin' awful. And his base attack isn't super good. His special, basically all of his stats stink, which is why I can I can wear four attacks from him and it doesn't even do half damage. And Noctua grows to 25. Oh, nice. Well, I forgot to read what he said because I was too speedy. Well, we might have to fish or get an X accuracy. We might have to fish for our encounter, which wouldn't be too bad because it would be a water Pokemon before the rock gym. But just in case, for the sake of variety, I'm going to go see if I can go up here. Although I'm so... Judging by the size of those big pillars, there's going to be a long dialogue here. <laughs> she sells stones you can use to make Pokemon evolve. Like this feels like, right? Like, boom. The second I hit that thing, you know it's like, oh, dialogue time. Oh, this game is so overproduced. Delibird. All right, you're cute. I'll give you that. I'll give you that, Delibird. Oh wow, this is like the city aspect. Got it, cool. Probo Pass. I hate the design of Probo Pass. I love utilizing Probo Pass because knowing electric, stab electric, wait, it's steel rock. So stab steel and rock moves and having electric coverage is pretty beast. I guess that's it for route nine. There's no like, uh, Route 9 police station. There's no, like, grass. So I guess we'll have to fish. And then we'll go over to Memorial Hill and see what we can do. And we gotta find out where the heck we gotta go. Boop, 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 boop. The A button. Oh, I gotta press a button. I missed it. I was, I was too busy uh, fake reeling in my line in real life. Boodink. Don't be a Magikarp. It is. Love Disc. The worst Pokemon in the game. Cool. I will catch it for the sake of... Making sure that a ball pops up the next time I encounter a Love Disc so I don't wonder whether it's an encounter. Unless I KO'd it right there. I didn't... It didn't paralyze, though. Luckily, they give me a thousand different types of Pokeballs in this game. Which means I have a dive ball. Which means this is pretty much a guaranteed catch chance. Boing! Love disc was cut! And Swifty gained experience and five five hundred dollar dollar bill y'all grew, which is nice. And Love Disc is registered. <laughs> what a stupid Pokemon. The rendezvous Pokemon. If a Love Disc is left on its own, it becomes disp Bondant, leaving itself open to attack. That is one Pelipper strike. Kind of a weird, kind of a weird uh, thing. I'm gonna call it Cinny because I want to call it Cinnamon, but I'm afraid I'm gonna misspell Cinnamon on the episode, and I don't want to do that. But I want to call it Cinnamon because when I was a kid, my mom around Christmas time used to always have these little tiny little red heart candies that were cinnamon and I would eat 1,000 of them. And they would hurt your teeth, they would stick to your mouth, they were disgusting. And I ate them all. But let me just, let me see if I can find uh, my list of encounter locations right quick before I go ahead and do anything else. Whoops. Hitting WASD -A over there. Trying to move around, that's not gonna work. Areas. Route 9. Memorial Hill. Okay, cool. Alright, so according to my random list off of a forum on tapatalk.com that someone made that does that lists all of the native Pokemon to the region by route in order, which is perfect for me because it just works out as a route guide for me. I, it's Diglett Tunnel, Route 9, and then Memorial Hill, so I haven't missed anything, which is excellent. Although, Memorial Hill feels shockingly like 
the first place I went to where I caught Ghastly. Hello, is your Pokemon dead? The mighty families of old Alola rest beneath these graves. Jeez. This is a little darker than usual. There's trainers too. I might want to turn off the experience share. Nah. Noctua won't grow another level. It'll be fine. Is there not an encounter in here? Okay, there's grass at the end. I am going to have to turn off the experience share. I don't want Noctua to get over leveled. 26 or 25 slash 26 is my self imposed level cap. So let's see if we can sneak past this kid. The cleanse tag. But I do want to raise my other Pokemon, so I'm going to keep battling people in graves or sleeping forever, right? What the heck? This game is dark all of a sudden. It's dark all of a sudden. You're challenged by preschooler Liam. What's up, kid? Who just discovered death for the first time? Kind of weird. There's a Jigglypuff. I guess that makes sense because they're sleeping all the time. LOL. Um, I'm going to see if I can Z power Hydro Vortex and do enough damage where I don't have to switch out. Hydro Vortex is a long animation that I will speed through. Disarming voice lowers... Oh, does damage? Okay. I'm going to body slam. In a perfect world, I would be tw I would level up here. To I would level up to 25 in this area and have a poly world before we go to the rock gym. That would be elite. Lady N. Which is a bug type? Chihuahua needs experience. And Perry also needs experience. Let's go with Perry! Because Lady N is the punching bug Pokemon, so I'm not too worried. Although I guess if it knew like Mach Punch, it could do some damage or Power Up Punch. But I know Rock Tomb, so it does know Mach Punch. Critical hit, and that's all it does, and it raises my defense. Stamina, you dog. What an ability. Bye bye, Lady N. Not gonna lie, Mudbray has been the all star of the team so far. Mudbray, Makuhita, Slat. Yeah, Mudbray and Makuhita have been team carriers for me. Once on high horsepower, let's go. That's awesome. Oh, it's so strong. I don't need Stomp. So if I can't damage somebody enough with a rock ground or fighting move there's no way i'm going to be able to damage them enough with a stomp so i'd rather keep the secondary ability of um bulldoze because in first of all it hits everybody so in in those group battles it was very useful secondly it lowers speed so in the last totem battle i i uh the pokemon had boosted speed although i didn't use mudbray but in some of these longer battles having the speed advantage at the end guaranteed is pretty useful did I go the wrong way? I did! Let me heal up Poliwhirl. Or Poly whatever. Um, Poshon? Schwiffy! Supposed to be named Schwifty. What's up, guy? I'm gonna fight you on the grave of your ancestors. I thought I'd have a little gander at the ruins of life. There's one thing to do first. Weird that they're called the Ruins of Life, despite the fact that it's a cemetery. Seems a little off. I'm in Smith. Got an Umbreon. That's not a very good matchup. For anybody on my team. Hmm. Dark is weak against fighting? So, Perry! It's your turn again, and he actually has a Z fighting move. That might be... That might come in handy. I forgot I gave him that. and use Confuse Ray. Well, that sucks. That's a real bummer. Everybody loves Umbreon, and I love the design of Umbreon, but gosh dang, if it's not an annoying Pokemon to fight. Super high defenses. 
super fast. Or relatively fast. It worked! Fightanium Z! Boom! God, these animations could not get any longer. I like this one though. It's just boom, 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 boom. Just a thousand punches. And then a raging headbutt. That's all that does? Oh my god. Umbreon, your defense is impeccable. I'm gonna try a high horsepower. High horsepower is 95 plus, times 1.5. Which is 100 times 1.5 would be 150. So it's like 145-ish, whatever. Do Double kick would be 60 times two, which is 120. So high horsepower is actually the stronger move here. If I could ever get an attack off and it's lowering my attack and I'm confused. Umbreon, you monster. Go, oh, Chihuahua! Oh, he doesn't have any good moves either. Ah, uh, this is gonna be a really long battle all of a sudden. Because Umbreon can't do any massive damage to me, but it can be mad annoying all the time. And I got rid of his normal moves, so I'm gonna have to use. I guess Rock Tomb, because then we can guarantee to attack first if it ever hits. Come on, Umbreon! I'm trying to keep the episode of 30 minutes, man. I don't want it to be this whole thing. Boom! Wow, Faint Attack did more than I thought. But we're doing good. Confuse Ray is rather annoying. Since we have Super Speed on, I'm just going to switch to Perry because it's probably faster than fighting through Confusion. Go, Perry! The very French donkey! And he uses a full restore. This game this game how does he outspeed i use rock tomb twice oh baby doll eyes is priority uh, i forgot boom can i get another crit thank god he didn't use confuse ray please hit thank god all right whoo <laughs> umbreon you dog chibula grows to 25 which is awesome Swiffy goes to 24, which is awesome. Quite skillfully done. I love fighting in cemeteries. I, I consider it very uh, relaxing. I don't know. Let's catch. Oh, looting graves now. This game's teaching me a lot. But we can catch something in here. And apparently we'll encounter it immediately. So here we go. It's a phantom. Which is a trade Pokemon? Phantom. I should set up my stream so you guys can see my computer screen. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, Trevenant when traded. Uh, that sucks. Also, its type is weak to everything. But alas, we must fight it. It is the only way. Schwiffy used hypnosis. You know what? I'm gonna take a wild guess and say Schwiffy doesn't have the best catch rate. Or doesn't have the hardest catch rate. And I'm gonna straight up just try and catch it. Whoops. Somewhat different Pokeball has more successful catch rate views at the start of a wild encounter. It's already a turn in. A Dusk Ball. At night or in dark places. Is the Memorial Park a dark place? Nah. We'll just use an Ultra Ball. We only got one, so it better work. You're asleep. It's an Ultra Ball. You're a crappy Pokemon. Get in the ball. Two. Three. Boom. All right, so two underwhelming encounters, which is actually, to be honest, was probably bound to happen eventually. I, um... I had been going pretty well with my encounters. We had a, a, a lot of flying types to start the game. But generally speaking, most of the Pokemon we got had good utility. Even Wingle was my first water Pokemon, so it was useful. Zubat would have been very useful because I love Crobat. Phantump the Stump Pokemon. These Pokemon are stumps possessed by the spirits of children who died in the forest. 
Cries sound like eerie screams. I'd like to give Phantup a nickname. I'm going to call him, uh... Uh... What am I going to call him? Stump? <laughs> I am going to call him Woody. Because he's made out of wood. It reminds me of Toy Story. And I will see his summary, but I will not use him. Because Ghost Grass is one heck of a type. It's weak against a lot. Let me see. Ghost Grass. Ghost Grass is weak to flying, ghost, fire, ice, and dark. Concerning the fact that every Pokemon in the game learns bite, it feels like, and flying Pokemon are super prevalent, and fire moves are pretty prevalent, and ice beams super strong, and ghost moves never happen, so there's not, we don't really gotta worry about those. But the fact that fire, flying, and dark are so prevalent means that it gets KO'd a latte. You will be a specialty Pokemon at best, Phantom. Uh, I could fight this lady. Ooh! She's selling me. Which Pokemon do you think is fitting with the grave? Jeez. Let's battle. Perhaps you'll figure it out. Why is she so creepy? Madame Sayori. Sayori. Sent out a Comfy. That's a fairy type, right? And that's it? All she has is a lay? All right, let's try Z Power of Hydro Vortex. Should probably check what Z Rain Dance does, but I guess during this extremely long animation, I'll look it up. Z Rain Dance. Z Rain Dance. Wow, that's all that did. Okay. Well, we're switching now. We'll switch to. Mm hmm. I wanted to switch to Perry, but he's kind of hurt. And I don't know if Comfy learns like Giga Drain or something, so I'm gonna switch to Noctua just in case. Z Rain Dance, special moves. I gotta go to internationalpokedexfandom.com. Summons rain as well as raising the user's speed. Oh, okay. That's. If I ever wanted to sweep, I guess that would be good. I'm going to guess... I'm going to guess that Comfy... is part grass. It look, kind of looks grassy. Looks kind of grassy. Hmm. Whoa! I did not see that happen. I was, look, I was too busy researching. Uh, let's use a super potion just to be sure. It makes sense that it knows rap because it's literally a lay. Actually, quite funny. Noctua's HP was restored. Still rap. That's fine. Um, all right. Hurt by rap. Yada yada yada. Whoops. Nothing's happening. Gotta click back onto my emulator. I mean, my Nintendo DS that I'm playing on, and use pluck. Apparently this thing cannot kiss me. It really wants to. They should make a... Hmm, maybe that's too controversial for 2020. Never mind on my kiss, my kiss recommendation moves. I'm gonna cut that out. Full restore! Why are there so many Pokemon using... Trainers using things here? This sucks. Not to use Pluck. Ugh. Luck again! Only this thing only knows rap. It's doing like a lot more damage than I would like. Does this thing have a special ability that's like rap does 25% more damage? Oh, sweet kiss, you bummer. Boom! KO, please. Ah! You son of a gun! Hopefully, we just hit through confusion. Boom! Alright, cool! Some weirdly long battles in this area, but uh. So we forgot to 25 and learn Bubble Beam. Let's go. Bubble Beam is 60 power, right? 65 and may lower the speed. Let's go. That's huge because now he's going to evolve. And then I have my team set for the Kahuna, which is awesome because I totally thought we were going straight to the Kahuna battle, but turns out we had to do this. 
Whoops. <laughs> I thought I said that we were going to do the Kahuna today. I was wrong. My bad. Swing. It's a poly world, which seems fatter than it was in earlier generations. It's pretty cute. Register. Pia! Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Tadpole Pokemon, although it can live in land, it prefers to stay in the water where it has fewer natural enemies. That actually makes quite a bit of sense. Okay, uh, I was going to say maybe we'll battle one more wild Pokemon to raise Swiffy. But no need as he evolved quite easily and we should probably take a look at his stats. He is a very, very fast, frail attacking water type hmm okay hopefully he learns super aqua mega punch soon or something like that oh well it's not a tm so it's fine let's see what we can do in the city oh i cannot believe that there's no dialogue here this is actually kind of amazing Maybe I can go get one more encounter in the city? It's quite possible. Let me see here. What's the name of the city? Uh, I don't... What's the name of the city? Malis, Malie City? Is that what it's called? I gotta go walk out of the city and then walk back to see what it's called because I was not paying attention. Oh. I thought that would get me out of the city. Zoom! Route 9. Coney Coney City. So, that it's not on my encounter list, so maybe there's no encounters. This is a TM salesman. Hey, ho, let's go. What's going on over here? What do you got? You got bulk up. Oh, these are expensive. I'm gonna sell some revives. The Nuzlocke don't need those. Okay, um... Now that I think about it, I will do that off camera. I want to see if we can get an encounter beforehand. And then next episode we'll come back and I'll have a bunch of TMs. Hopefully. What is going on? This is a weird view. Can I fish here? No, I cannot. Clearly I'm going to be riding this boat with all my pals. Once I get through this area. Whoops, that's not it. What is this? A town that welcomes the sea breeze. I could have just read that sign instead of running back. No encounters, huh? Look at all these Pikachus. What's going on? Why are there so many Pikachus? <laughs> she said, look at all these Pikachus. That's so funny. Uh, I saw a tickle pink. I think I'll give you this. Picanium Z. Okay. Why don't you come talk to me if you reach your, teach a... Your Pokemon, the new move, Volt Tackle. Okay. Pikachu has his own Z crystal thing. That makes sense, I guess. And then I can't get to that lighthouse, but it's clearly an accessible point. Do I need to use Go Goat or something? I don't even have a Go Goat. You don't jump over things. Do the feds! Um, maybe that's after? Is that the trial location? Huh. Alright, well, I've successfully wasted enough time to bring it to the end of the episode, so... I'm going to slam the old save button here. There it is. I'm going to slam the old save button here. And next time, I thought it was this time, but next time we'll be facing our official second grand trial adventure. Um, which should go well, assuming, because we have all sorts of grass and, and water type. But I'll probably change up the Pokemon and maybe buy some TMs. So I'll have lots of updates next time before we go fight the Kahuna. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you like the new camera setup. I hope I like the new camera setup, because it makes things a little bit more difficult for me. But hopefully look a lot, lot better. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.